How you doing guys, Richard here from Yes I Can. Just want to show you um, a bit of a, a hot tip. We're redoing the floor in this laundry um, because it was like shale and we had to redo the plumbing. So I wanted to show you the correct way of doing it. Um, just in case you guys are getting it done in your own home, you know what to look for. Um, so let's flip this camera around and have a chat. Alrighty, see you in a second. All right, guys, so this is the floor. So we're putting a layer of sand in that we're compacting down and screeding to, um, to a flat sort of level. Um, what we've done is we've used some 12 mil rear. Um, we've drilled holes into the walls, super tight holes, and we're nailing and pinning them straight into the walls. This will, and then we'll tie them to the mesh that's gonna go on the floor, which um, uh, I'll do a bit of a photos and videos for as soon as I get a chance, as soon as that's done. So all the way around, we're tying it all to the steel mesh. So all the floor will be tied in with the walls. Now we've got an issue with this property where it's got a, a major crack here due to the movement of this structure. Just don't forget this property is probably over 100 years old. So what we've done is we're drilling holes straight through into the back wall. And the same thing as we're doing at the bottom there. We're just hammering in some rear bars to pin it all up together. Um, ideally you want to chem set that in. But unfortunately we don't have access here to chem set. So, but once we do that, um, we do a sand and cement a mix and we put some concrete in it. Um, that should be super, super, super strong. So it shouldn't be moving for a, quite a long time. Alrighty, guys. Um, once we get to the next part, I'll report that. I'll see you in a minute. Guys, this is the next part. The mesh is in. Now, for those astute builders out there that are looking at this video, we're not leaving it flush with the ground. So there's two ways of doing this. You can either put it on stands, you can put it on bricks, you can put it... Oh, no. My vape. My stick vape. It fell in the ground. So for those of you who know about concreting, you know that you shouldn't have this flush against the floor. It reduces the strength of the concrete. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. Um, we can either do um, uh, the special stands that you can set them on. But such a small job like this, um, what we do is, as we pour in the concrete, we just lift it up and put it right in the middle of the, the concrete slab. So that's probably the best way of doing it. You can put it on bricks, you can just, as long as it's propped up and it's not sitting at the bottom of the slab. Um, all the, see how it's all tied up, guys? So we're tying it in to all the rio in the walls, all the way around. We're tying all the mesh up where we've joined it all together. So we're getting tied up together. Everything has to be meshed up. This is what holds the concrete together and stops it from cracking, guys. So fun, fun, fun. I know we could have done a lot more prep work on these walls because they're gonna get rendered, but we're sort of strapped for time here. We've had heaps of issues. So we're doing it in this order. Um, and this is the concrete mixer. Guys, don't, don't mix by hand. Buy one of these guys from Kennards, 65 bucks a day. Um, save your laborers back. So I guarantee you, once you have your laborer mix up about 80 bags, you're taking a week off from a bad back. Isn't that right, Chris? Yep. <laughs> That's it, guys. Alrighty. Um, we'll do the next shoot uh, once we are doing some concreting work. All right, guys. So this is what the result looks like now. Obviously, we could have done a better screed. Um, this doesn't really matter. It's not a finished layer. We have to um, screed still and tile on top. But the reason for that is... Justin, show us your hand, mate. That's the reason for that, buddy. Guys, this is the reason why we charge so much money. Something that's not that dangerous ends up killing your hand. We're going to the hospital, getting some stitches. So, this is it, guys. Um, again, we didn't put any plastic down. Because we were um, because of the access to this place, we were mixing up one at a time, bag at a like four bags at a time. So we kept them nice and wet, and we didn't want to put plastic, otherwise it wouldn't have dried. Um, so that's what we did there. We've lifted up the Rio. This is a super strong um, slab. This is almost 150 mil thick. Some some areas it's 200 mil thick. All hand mixed, all laid. Still, wait, it went until it dries. Waterproof. Two layers of um, solvent based waterproof, followed by the screed, followed by the acrylic waterproofing on top. All right, guys. Till next time. If we can't do it, no one can. Yes, I can. Oh, I forgot about that. I always say yes, I can handyman. And yes, I can. If we can't do it, no one can.